Hello friends, welcome back. Today I've decided to flock my own Christmas florals and my own like icy looking stems for my Christmas tree. I am going to be sticking with my cabin theme, but I wanted to add some glam to it and florals and glitter and sparkly things is the best way to do that. They're really expensive though. So that's why I wanted to make my own. The first thing I did was I went out to my yard and I cut some stems and spray painted them white. Then I went down to Walmart and I got, I think I got about five of these, five or six. I would have to recount um, the lamb's ear. And then I'm pretty sure I got about 10 stems of the boxwood, 97 cents a piece. Then I got, I'm pretty sure I got four. I should have counted how many I got of everything, but I didn't. Um, four of these bouquets of magnolia flowers, $5 a bouquet. So I'm going to use some buffalo snow flurries. I got those at Walmart and some Epsom salt, Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, these are really expensive when you go and buy them in Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And I just, I love how they look, but they can get really expensive because you need quite a few if you're putting it in your garland and your tree and your wreaths and you want everything to match, it can really add up. So, you know, between nine to up to $20 per stem. So this is why I wanted to make my own. And I actually looked on YouTube, I looked on Pinterest, I couldn't find anything, so this is my version. <laughs> if there is another version out there, let me know. Um, but I'm just gonna use some spray adhesive. I spray a layer of it and then sprinkle on some snow flurries and then kind of just start building it up. Um, you can get it as thick as you want by just respraying and adding more. I did figure out that um, as I'm doing this, I have like a, a, an old paint towel that I have on the counter and then I have a plate to catch my snow and glitter and cause I'm gonna add some glitter too. Um, but as you spray it and get the snow on there, um, I start pulling it up off of my towel and putting it on my plate and it really starts kind of sticking together but not in hard clumps or anything it's it's real loose but I kind of figured out that I could spray it and get a, a good layer on my stems and then respray and add those clumps of snow and that just worked so good um, so here's my glitter. I think I got that at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get glitter anywhere, Walmart. Um, you can even get it at the Dollar Tree. So, um, and this is just half and half water and Mod Podge glue. So this is how I was gonna do my lamb's ear stems at first. So I just kind of wanted the tips of them glittery and, and flocked. So this is how I did some of them, and then later I switch it up. But I did want to show you all of the options. So I'm adding snow flurries, a little bit of Epsom salt, and a little bit of glitter. And I just kind of wanted a, a real sparkle on there. Um, but like I said, I just kind of wanted it on the tips. So because I did this stem this way, I did half the stems this way and then half um, the other way which is just with the spray adhesive so that way I would have similar ones but they all kind of go together but like I said I wanted to show you both ways so um, this way does take a little bit longer because I'm using a brush and just painting on the glue on the tips um, but yeah it, it did work well and you can see how pretty it is I love how glittery it is um, but yeah, I ended up wanting, um, so I, basically I'm just going to show you how I did each kind and I'm not going to make you watch me paint all of them or 
you know, flock all of them because that would take a long time. This literally took me all day. So I expect this to take you a while to do, but I personally think it's worth it because I'm saving a ton of money by doing this myself. And I think it's beautiful. I think they turned out great. So um, I, on the bouquets, the magnolia bouquets, I do remove the leaves that I don't like. And I just put back on the leaves that I, I do like. So yeah, I just didn't like the lighter colored ones. So I'm going to use my spray adhesive and I spray the inside of the flower, the outside and the leaves. And I do a mix of the snow flurries, the Epsom salt and a lot of glitter. So putting the lamb's ear aside, how I did half one way and half another way, I did try to stick with um, doing like the flowers I did one way and then there were like different, a, a couple of different kinds of flowers mixed in with these magnolia flowers. So I did those a little bit different, like the, um, the little, the littler flowers, I just put glitter on the flowers and then I did a little bit of flocking on the leaves um, and the magnolia flowers, I did use a lot more glitter. I did flock them, but I used more glitter and the um, boxwood, I just used flocking. I didn't, I didn't add glitter to those. So. I did them all a little bit different. I didn't do everything exactly the same. Um, so like this flower here, I flock the leaves, but for the flower itself, I, I spray it with a spray adhesive and just put glitter on it, a ton of glitter on it. And I like how that looked. Um, I kind of liked that not everything was done the exact same way. So, like uh, the the sticks, the stems that I got off the trees in my yard that I spray painted white. I flock those, but I use a lot of the, um, like the clumped up flocking and a lot of the Epsom salt mixed in with that. And I don't think I use any glitter on the sticks, like the, the stems that I cut and spray painted but there's how I did each of those and I love how they turned out you know for as many times as I've looked at the flocked florals in like Michaels and, and Hobby Lobby and stuff I don't know why I never thought to do this before it's so easy so um, like I said with these little sticks that I've cut off the trees in my yard I spray with the spray adhesive and I put a layer of the snow flurries on it just it kind of gives it a base to start off of and then I can spray it and you know add that kind of clumped up snow that's on the plate and because these sticks are you know random sticks I did do them a little bit different I some of them I just put a little bit of flocking and some of them I put it on really heavy so yeah, it just worked really well. So after I got them flocked, I decided to use, this is like a, a little crystal-y type garland. I'm not sure where I got it. Um, I think I got it at an antique store, but um, they do have similar type in like the ribbon section at Michael's. Um, I think it's in the wedding section now that I think of it. That might be where I got it. But I'm also gonna use these gems at, from the Dollar Tree. And um, also, I didn't show it, but I'll, I'm also using a couple of the, they're like uh, crystal looking bracelets. And I've used them before in, in a different DIY. I got them from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna hot glue those on there and just finish up the the rest of everything and yeah like i said it did take pretty much all day um here you can see my second um style for the lamb's ear i just spray it and then just add a ton of flocking on it and 
Um, just like with the sticks, some have more flocking, some have less. Um, but I didn't add any glitter to the lamb's ear, just flocking. So you can see I'm pulling it off of my towel. It's just really kind of clumpy. I don't really know what to call it, but it it really sticks on the, the stuff good. It sticks on those florals so good. And you know, once you get that base layer down, and then that other stuff just sticks on there so well. And it just looks like thick snow, thick flocking to me. I love it. So you can get it as thick as you want. Um, I just did mine how I think they're pretty and I love how these turned out. I cannot wait to dig out my Christmas tree and of course I'll have a video. Um, I'm excited to do more of like a rustic glam tree this year. So anyway, I hope you guys like this DIY and of course, as always, I hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.